On this Tuesday, we welcome you to this edition of Our News and want to tell you a few things happening. A proposed bill would require post-secondary education for school board members. If State Representative Dennis Powers has his way, anyone running for election to a local school board in Tennessee will need to add a bit more education to their resume. Powers, a Republican from Jacksboro, is sponsoring Bill HB 0529 in the Tennessee House of Representatives. The bill requires members of local boards of education to have at least two years of post-secondary education, provided, however, that current members may fulfill their terms. The bill, which Powers filed last Thursday, would amend a current law that stipulates members of local boards of education have at least a high school diploma. Powers represents District 36, which includes all of Campbell and parts of Union and Anderson counties. Powers tells WLAF that he kind of wanted to work it out to a four-year degree, but says this is a step to get there. Powers goes on to say that maybe they, meaning future candidates, will get on the board for the right reasons instead of running for their own personal gain. Senator Jim Somerville, a Republican from Dixon, is sponsoring the same piece of legislation in the Tennessee Senate. Powers adds that he took the bill to the Education Center on Monday and that it is a go. However, he says it could always have an amendment. It was a frightening scene this morning soon after 8 o'clock. On the east side of La Follette, a pickup truck went airborne and landed on its top. Eyewitnesses tell WLAF that a man was headed east out of La Follette driving an older model brown Chevy pickup when all of a sudden the truck veered right from the turning lane and across three more lanes. The pickup then hit an embankment in front of the wedding chapel at the corner of East Central Avenue and South 6th Street and when airborne. The embankment is about 15 feet high. The truck landed on its top in the emergency lane. The driver, a man, and his passenger, a young boy, were taken to the hospital. Their names and conditions were not available when we came on the air this evening. La Follette City Council meets in its regular monthly meeting this evening at 6 o'clock at City Hall. WLAF's Dwayne Wilder will have the story for you first thing tomorrow morning right here. A La Follette man is earning a very distinction in his visits to the county jail. He has now been booked into the county jail almost as many times as the number of years he has lived. So far, Officials with the Sheriff's Department tell WLAF that 29-year-old Travis David Williams, a father of four children, has been booked some 28 times. That counts his arrest earlier today at 2 a.m. when he was pulled over for driving left of the center and driving while revoked. Williams is also facing charges for possession of Schedule II and Schedule Four controlled substances. Deputies saw Williams cross the Double Yellow Line on Toastring Road three times in less than a mile. Williams was pulled over at the intersection of Toastring Road and Vincent Estates. According to the report, Williams told deputies that he dropped his cell phone and that's why he ran out of the road. It's noted that since all four charges were citation charges, Williams was only held for a couple of hours this morning before being released. Officials with the Sheriff's Department 
tell WLAF that most of Williams' charges over the years have been mainly driving violations, a driving under the influence, and public intoxication charges are also on his record, along with vandalism and aggravated assault. Deputies note that Williams has the names of his children tattooed on his left arm. Even though this is our evening newscast, we do have a good amount of sports news to pass along to you. It's been a busy, busy week for Campbell and Jellicoe basketball teams, and there's no immediate relief in sight. Campbell hosts Corns this evening in varsity games only with the first game, the girls playing at 6 o'clock, followed by the boys game. Lynn Camp makes a stop at Jellicoe. WLAF has coverage of the games from John Brown Gym as well as from Lindsay Gym over the WLAF Sports Network. In this last week of the regular season, as the districts start next week, Campbell County plays four games in five nights, while Jellicoe has four games in six six nights. And in last night's action, Jellicoe's Justin Bolin poured through a career-high 35 points as Jellicoe won on homecoming night over Oakdale. Jessica Daniels was crowned homecoming queen for Jellicoe. At Oak Ridge, the Cougars and Lady Cougars lost a couple of tough games to the Wildcats and the Lady Wildcats. Despite the varsity losses, Campbell still came away with a big win. The undefeated Lady Cougar JV squad fought from behind to win its 11th game of the season. Campbell County High was down 18-6 to before it came to life by scoring 39 of the next 49 points to whip Oak Ridge 45-28. to The Lady Cougar JVs host Anderson County on Friday in a 6.30 p.m. start. And we close out our newscast with another sports story. Monday was a big win day for the Jacksboro Eagles. Jacksboro Middle School whipped Seymour in the TMSAA Regional Tournament. The win advances the Eagles to round two where they face Cleveland on Wednesday at 6.15. The Eagles game is played at Sevierville Middle School. Jellicoe plays Oakdale in its opening round game tomorrow at 6.15 at Gatlinburg Middle School in Sevier County. The Lady Eagles season came to a close yesterday with a loss to Union Grove. And that's a look at our news. We continue in a moment with a press release from the Campbell County Sheriff's Department. It looks like 10 people have been booked into the Campbell County Jail in the past 24 hours. Those names are Mark Fitzgerald, 57, of Lake City, for theft of property under $500. 24-year-old Nicole Lynn Gibson of South Tennessee Avenue in La Follette for driving while revoked, violation of the Tennessee financial law, and violation of the registration law. Kevin Scott Green, 48, of Low Street in Caraville, on a capius. 22-year-old Philip Ray Johnson of Valley View Road in La Follette for domestic assault. Brandon Dean Norman, 26, of Thelma Circle in Jacksboro, on a capius bench warrant. 39-year-old Gary M. Raines of South Indiana Avenue in La Follette for driving while suspended, possession of drug paraphernalia, and on a capious bench warrant. Larry Wayne Satterfield, 28, of Whitman Holler in La Follette, on a capious bench warrant. 26-year-old Andrea Elaine Wallace of Pleasant Lane in La Follette, on a capious bench warrant, and violation of probation for criminal court. Linda Westfall, 54, of South 14th Street in La Follette for trespassing 
And our last name on the report today, Travis David Williams, 29 of 1215 South Highway 25W in La Follette for driving left of the center, driving while revoked, and possession of a Schedule II and Schedule IV controlled substance. And that wraps up our local news portion, but we want to invite you to stay with us. There's still lots more to come on WLAF Radio and Channel 12 TV. We sing happy birthday to you, and may all your dreams come true. Happy, happy birthday. Oh, Hey, Big Josh with you again on this uh, Tuesday evening. We're going we're gonna to do birthdays and anniversary uh, for you right now. And the Birthday and Anniversary Club is brought to you by WLAF and Eastside Pizza and Deli. Looking at our birthdays today, we have kind of a unique situation here. Travis Robinson, Robbins is having a birthday. Happy birthday to you, Travis. And his mom, Sis Robbins, is celebrating a birthday today. So, happy birthday to Travis and Sis. Uh, Toby Morris is 44 years old today. Happy birthday, Toby. Diane Henderson turns 55 today. Happy birthday, Diane. Christopher Bailey is 14 years old today. Happy birthday to you, Christopher. And Dehan Sweat is 11 years old today. Happy birthday to you, Dehan. Edna Bunch turns 82 today. Happy birthday to you, Mrs. Bunch. And looking at our uh, anniversaries, Virgil and Rietta Bolin celebrate number 55 today. Happy uh, 55th anniversary to Rietta and Virgil Bolin. We hope you all have a great day. Now listen, if you're celebrating your birthday uh, or your anniversary today, and for some reason we don't have your name on our list, hey, we want you to have a great day too. But remember, the only way that you can qualify for the drawing on Fridays to win a birthday or an anniversary dinner for two from WLAF and East Side Pizza is if we have your name on our list. So get it in here, will you? I'm out of time. Gotta go. See ya. <laughs>